you know, I understand keeping everything, you know, to a certain minimum hush hush and, you know, the details and I don't know how everything slipped out, but my guess is it had to happen from somebody at the hospital. I mean, like, who else could it have been that would know all this information? What's up, everybody? This is the world famous Ed Lover, and you are watching Forgotten Kings TV. That's right. Forgotten Kings TV. Come on, son. Uh-oh. We done just popped up for that. It's going to be a couple of... I'll wait till a couple of people get up in here and telling all the family. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Be, be back, boy. <laughs> Let's give it a few seconds. I can... You already know I'm feeling good. Feeling good. Feel me? Hold on. My mouth dry because I had to go outside and take some of my medication. I'll be right back. <laughs> That's good. Now, I always be drinking water, so I've been trying to drink a little fruit juice and getting my life together, getting me in order. You know what I'm saying? I'm so glad Crazy Bone doing good. You know what I mean? Can I get a, can I get a God bless? You know what I mean? That pray for Cray hit hard, right? Like, really wasn't nobody really saying nothing. And I'm like this, man. Let me just, you know what? Let me, hold on, hold on. Two seconds. Mango blend. All right. Mango, goddamn blam. So really nobody wasn't saying nothing about the crazy bone issue. I don't know if anybody was like keeping it out. But like this, man, I'm a firm believer in God, man. You know what I mean? Like, I believe in the Lord. So I believe that prayers are necessary. You know, I understand keeping everything, you know, to a certain minimum hush hush. And, you know, the details and I don't know how everything slipped out, but my guess is it had to happen from somebody at the hospital. I mean, like, who else could it have been that would know all this information? And no disrespect to the homie who put it out on his little YouTube channel, but he ain't really had many followers. You feel what I'm saying? Now, I said something much harsher when I seen it. I'm like, this mother, some, bleep. <laughs> some stuff they'll probably have to bleep up off of um, Instagram because we sensitive right now. <laughs> But, but, you know, somebody had to say something, you know what I mean? Like, pray for Craig, because I believe that prayer work. You know what I mean? I know how when you're alive, you got so many negative forces that's around you trying to pull you down, right? So if you're unconscious and you really can't swing and think for yourself, you know, I want to make sure that my boys are girded up with the most strongest thing that they can get, which is y'all. When LeBron James tweeted and said, "Get uh, pray for Cray," and, and when Ice T said, "Pray for Cray," ah oh, man, I'm like, my job is done, man. That, when 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 they praying from all over, it ain't just the you know what I'm saying the big guys. It's also you know the people that been diehard fans of Bone Thugs and Harmony for years and years and years and years and years and years and years. So. That's a big, 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 big thank you. A big, big plus. I'm feeling really, really good. Really didn't do anything for my birthday. So, you know, I'm going on vacation with Bay. We finna um, go have some fun in the sun. Do some Tahiti things. You know, do it like it's supposed to be done. Uh, everything going good. The album is really, really dope. You know what I'm saying? We debuted, I believe, number one on iTunes or something. I think, I think it was number one on iTunes that we debuted with. The Wasteland. So... And I've been kind of staying off, you know, social media, just getting myself together, you know what I'm saying? Putting the bottle down for a while and, you know, really getting the health together, getting ready for next year. You know what I'm saying? We got the big, you know, the big world tour coming up, you know, Australia, New Zealand, the Juicy Fest. So everything going good. So anyway, back at you, busy. Happy belated birthday, OG. You brought them prayer soldiers out, bro. Get away from this town, Rain. Yes, BB. Sent a request to be in a live video. Oh my God, you still sound the same. The album is a classic. Greetings from Mexico. It's a beautiful thing that they don't have to know somebody probably to offer up your prayers. Sent a request video. Can't wait. Many blessings. Happy belated birthday. Yes, Germany. <laughs> Happy G Day. <laughs> we love busy. <laughs> See you, San Antonio. Hey, busy. So you know that's how I be reading my raps too. Like, but but I be speed reading for real. I think I was one of the first. Well, you know me and my boys. You know what I'm saying? Speed readers. 
But anyway, man, you know, that's what's going on with that, man. I really appreciate everybody showing up and they prayers for Cray. Just look at him, man. He, I'm still alive, bitch. I'm still alive. Ooh. So, yeah, you know, I'm happy about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm letting it grow out a little bit. You know, this that vacation. This the vacation beard right here. It's the vacation. Let it grow out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Brazil. Speed listening, speed reading, hearing what y'all are saying. Indeed, indeed, indeed. I'm just glad everybody really showed up and showed out like they did. I'm doing good. God good to me. Super duper happy. My relationship is amazing. My kids are amazing. You know what I'm saying? You know, we've been through a little something. You know, I didn't just, we know everybody ain't pop up out the womb. Super amazing. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we are amazing right now. Everybody is amazing. Everybody got their own spot. Everybody got their own thing going on, making their own money, you know, being grown up, being grown up. So my babies is good, you know what I'm saying, which has always been my first priority. Of course, wifey, you know, the, 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 the mothership and so on. But, you know, the babies is good. Everything good. My homeboys is good. The tour coming up next year is going to be good. I got something special coming from Bloodline Harmony very, 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 very soon. So... I hope y'all ready for that. Like I'm putting on my production hat like I did with Heaven's movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, oh. Let me show y'all something real quick. Hold on. I don't know if y'all ready for this shit, man, but I'm, these the reels right here, man. Look at these here, man. These the reels. I don't know if y'all can see that, but this demons surround me, this murder me. Well, murder may. It's called murder may. Y'all call it murder me. Murder may, murder may. That's what that was. It was murder. Y'all was like, this. that's murder me. Like, y'all lying. Y'all is lying. You know what I'm saying? I got the reels and shit, so I got a lot of capo music. You know, them, them reels is from 1997, 1998. Now everything is digital. You know what I'm saying? I've been had, I've been had the masters to all up. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know, going through what I'm going through and stuff like everybody else in the business. You got culture vultures and you got stuff that you need to do. Nothing is perfect. You're going to have to stay at it. You're going to have to stay in court fighting for your intellectual properties and different things of that nature. That's just what goes on in the business. You know, unfortunately, people are willing to risk it all, man, until you get a lawyer and a cease and assist. And by the time they get all that done, they're going to file bankruptcy. But, you know, once it's clear that you own your stuff, then you can feel free to take it and solicit those, you know, those recordings for whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, World War Three in there. Everything in there. I got everything. I got everything in there. So, um, you know, that's just the way that that go. You know, that's just business. You can't let it get so far deep in your mind that you don't handle it or get all stressed out and stuff like that. You know, that's why I take trips. You know, you got to take trips. Go to the gym. You know what I'm saying? Get your mind right. You know what I mean? I'm a firm believer in stuff like that. You know what I mean? Never let, you know, never let a situation talk you out of, you know, standing on your pivot and making your money and saving your money and not spending your money and making sure you got health care and, Making sure you eating right and making sure you choosing organic and making sure you trying to stay away from plastic bottles as much as you can and making sure you cleaning out your belly button and you cleaning out your ears. You know what I'm saying? And you touching the intricate and secret parts that you need to get done. Mess where I have, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fucking with y'all about the belly button shit. <laughs> but, but, um, yeah, so yeah, definitely, man. All the prayers for Cray, man. It's such a beautiful thing. I don't like to hold y'all for too long. I'm getting ready to go to Tahiti, boy. You feel what I'm saying? A little bit of, you know, birthday fun, birthday birthday happiness. Because on my birthday, I put out that new record, The Wastelands. I hope y'all like it. With The Wastelands, I wanted that shit to be a little bit different than everything else. Like, I don't want y'all to stop listening to the other stuff. So I want to make something that's different and still innovative and of the times. You know what I'm saying? So I still want to be able to do that. You know what I mean? With with, with this this music that I'm um, I'm putting together. You know, I really want people to enjoy it. It reminds me of how badly I used to want Scarface to continue to put out solo records. I put myself in the fans' perspective. How badly I wanted to get another DOC record. 
You know what I'm saying? Because he was just spitting. You know what I mean? So it reminds me of that. So I put myself back into that. And that's, you know, one of the things that motivate me to keep recording, keep recording. Now, in this transition and me getting back on the road and things that I'm doing, of course, I got my babies with me. Lil Busy, YBL, Sinatra, Cleo, the Harmony guys, So Throw, Goldie, Locked in Jail, doing three to five, Lockdown Love to Goldie from Bloodline Harmony, which is a whole nother saga of what I've been doing. Y'all know I've been keeping YBL, Sinatra, Bone Bone on the road with me for the past five years. I added in the Harmony God. Now Lil Busy's coming to be a part of it. So throat as well. And they all just listening to me. So I got them in the studio doing some music and I'm producing it and, re and, and, and making it to where it can sound professional. You know, so they ain't just in there, you know, you know, you know, just doing something. Like we actually do something with it. So that's definitely coming, man. I'm bringing my kids, man. Like, I know I've been talking to y'all about this since 2016, 2017, but you know, that's, it, it, it take time. You know what I mean? It, it, it just take time. I'm excited about the Australia, New Zealand Juicy Fest with my bone boys. I'm gonna be with them all month. You know what I mean? It's not often that this thing here happens. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's just a good thing, man. It's a good thing. It's just not often that it happens, but you know, when it does happen and we able to get up together and and, and get it right, then it's always, as y'all can see, I've been in the gym, you know what I mean, getting it together and stuff, so, you know, I'm just getting prepared, man, can't wait to step out there and really, really show the world, you know what I'm saying, what, what we do, man, and, and Australia, New Zealand, been waiting on us, so big shout out to the Juicy Fest out there, all the people out there, man, for making everything real comfortable for me and, and, and doing it the right way, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm not, I'm not difficult to work with. You know, not at all. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm just somebody that you have to just deal with on a on a business level and I got business people there so I don't even have to do the talking. You know, I don't like to do too much talking. Hey yo, this is my stuff, this is what I'm doing, this time I'm moving. I've seen everything, I know what's in the budget, that that I've done my homework, just go get this and I'm there. Real easy kind of a vibe, you know what I'm saying? And I go in, do my thing, show love to the fellas, and dip. You know what I'm saying? Go back home, you know what I'm saying? And do what I do. Take care of my family. Take care of my kids. Whether it's Cleveland, whether it's Columbus, whether it's Texas, well, wherever I'm taking care of mine. You know what's going on with my babies and so on and so forth. Because, you know, to me, being a father is important and being a family person is important. I love the brand as well to make the brand be where the brand need to be as well. You know what I mean? So I try to make sure that I balance everything. So when, when it's all over with and it's all said and done, you know, we did the right thing. But big shout out to Crazy Bone out there doing good. I appreciate everybody that's here on this live right now. Man, we got, we got all the way up there. Like, y'all, I'm glad y'all wanted to hear something, man. You feel me? So I try to keep it short and sweet. Finna go on vacation, y'all. A little birthday vacation. Going to Tahiti, boy. Do my thing and all that goodness and stuff. So y'all send much love out there to Crazy Bone as much as y'all can. He made a miraculous recovery. It was totally necessary. We needed as many people praying for Cray as we possibly can. Because when you're in a bad situation, like there's so many demons around you throughout the day. When you're in a bad situation, this demon is always trying to pull you down while you awoke and your mind working and everything. Just imagine what it's like when you when you under when you under, when they put you up under how hard the fight is going to be. So people coming out there and praying for him and people coming out there and fighting and people coming out there and talking to God while he's in a state of really he can't fight for himself. You know what I'm saying? So that to me was really important to happen. And you guys showed up and you showed out. LeBron James turned up. Ice-T turned up. My 85 South boys turned up. Shady Verse Radio turned up. Just Ice Cube turned up. Everybody and all y'all turned up. So, you know, I really believe that those prayers really, really worked. And I, I, I believe that, you know what I'm saying, that's one of the reasons why he's alive. And prayers up to God and God hearing y'all cry. You know what I mean? So, I'm just grateful. I'm just thankful. You know what I'm saying? And everything is love, man. Y'all stay good. Listen to Bone Thugs and Harmony Music. The Wastelands out now. Trust and believe. It's, it's one of them ones. Before I go and shit. You know what I wanted to do with this record? I wanted it to be different than everything else, and I wanted to talk to them. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to talk to people. You know what I mean? And let them see what's going on. They watching your babies. I think it's demons going crazy. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted people to really get with, like, I'm speaking about the things that are going on today. You know, and it's, it's up to everybody to play their part and not shy away and run because they, you know, they little pockets or they afraid of what something going to say or what somebody going to do. 
I'm not into the whole shying away from certain subjects. It's a way you can present it and it's a way you can give it to where you can't hurt nobody. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I wanted to do with this new record. I just wanted to talk to him. You feel me? Like talk to him. We got the mantra. We got carbon monoxide. We got all those other records to, to listen to and, 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 and feel where I'm coming from. But I wanted this to have a different flavor, a different tone. I just wanted to talk to him. You know what I mean? Like, just sit down. Let me talk to you for a minute. Kind of an understanding and really give, you know, just show my diversity and different things of that nature. So when you buying the Wastelands, it ain't like you buying or you bought the mantra. You know what I'm saying? Or it ain't like you bought War of Roses or War of Roses Deluxe Edition or the I'm Busy record or Carbon Monoxide like or, or any other record that I've done for that matter. Um, it's a new record. Also, we're going to have vinyls coming out for that, too. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, just I can't wait, man. The vinyls are everything. It's like my first time I've really done real vinyls. But... You know, everything going good, man. My baby's doing good. Everybody living good. Everybody smoking good. Everybody eating good. Everybody is all right. And that's the main thing. And I hope you guys are all right out there. Man, and prayers work, man. Like, them prayers really, really work, man. Like, I can't say it enough. You know what I mean? Them prayers really, 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 really work for Crazy Bone, man. You guys really came. Y'all came through, man. Y'all really came through. Each and every, each and every last one of y'all, man. Y'all really, really came through. YTV, you know what I'm saying? They always on point. They always first on it. You know what I mean? They believe in it. You know what I mean? Like, so that's a good thing and so on and so forth, man. The whole team, man. It's, I know everybody. I know I speak on behalf of everybody, at least on this one. You know, we grateful as heck that that, that crazy is all right. You know, I, I think that's an understatement. You know what I mean? But, yeah, everything is everything, y'all. I'm going to go on vacation. I need to get it together. Shit to do, baby. Shit to do. Places to go, people to see. And just kind of lean back and shit. Regroup, you know, recharge. Oh, shit. One more thing. My bad. Hold up. Hold up. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. All right. So I got all the orders out for all of the merchandise. Everything's being done right now. The motherfucker's actually driving the signs right now over to my people so we can get those shipped out. Um, we already got the orders in for the shirts. We got the material for the shirts. You know what I mean? It's, you know, it's that high class stuff, you know, that I like to get to y'all. Um, uh, everything, the, the seat, uh, the physical copies, everything is, is on its way being shipped out. We're just waiting on everything to get manufactured. We got the final numbers. So I appreciate everybody for going in and, and going to IamBusyBone.com. Now, with what I got, like now, like I have, uh, how many shirts are left or how many signs are left now? So I kind of stepped up my game um, on my website. So now, like, when you order a shirt, it's like, okay, now it's seven of them left or 20 of them left or it's sold out or whatever that that might be. So, you know, um, yeah, I've been working hard, man, just working hard, working on myself, man, put the bottle down and stuff. I might pour me a glass on, on, on this vacation, but I've just been chilling, man. I'm grateful, man, grateful, thankful. Thank you guys and shit, working hard and... Stay blessed, man, for real. Just wanted to do one of these IG lives one more time. You feel me? Wreck and rip. Hey, man, it's your boy Scruncho, man. Listen, 9306 Hartford Parkville, October 7th, me, Reggie Carroll, Knockout Kings of Comedy. Hey, man, listen, man. We coming out there, man. I'm coming to do what I do. You know who I am, five-time BET All-Star. School dancer Kevin Hart, Boston up with Snoop Dogg, Wild and I'm Nick Cannon, season 1, 2, 17, 18, um, um, B. Diddy, Bad Boys of Comedy, um, assistant pimp for the movie How High. Come on, man, I ain't new to this, I'm used to this, man. You wanna come see the king of the underrated? Come, October 7th at Sully's, uh, comedy club, man. I might even do two shows, October 7th, man. Me and my boy, Cody, really, Reggie Carroll is the knockout king of comedy. I ain't knocked out shit nobody, you know, I'm just going at it, you know what I'm saying? Cause I can. So I see y'all October 7th, man. Get y'all tickets right now, man. Uh, tap, tap in. Subway Scruncho. Follow me at the only Scruncho. And uh, hit me back. I'll hit you back, man. I love all 37 of my fans. I'm gone. M. Wreck and Rip.